Hi, I'm Josh with Kids Ministry Tools. In this video, we're going to do an object lesson with a sand dollar. Let's get right into it. This sand dollar is pretty deep. It's white. It comes from the sea. It's a sea urchin. But this sand dollar reminds me of somebody. You know who it reminds me of? It reminds me of Jesus. How so, Brother Josh? I'll tell you why. On the sand dollar, you can see it has the shape of a star on there. And you remember the story of Bethlehem when Jesus was born? And what was in the sky? We call it the star of Bethlehem. Well, it was the star showing everybody that Jesus was being born. Oh, it's an amazing story. But watch, what else is on here? These holes. These holes represent or stand for it and remind me of Jesus. Those holes remind me how Jesus was nailed to the cross. Two for the hands two for the feet, and then that middle one right there as they pierced his side. Boys and girls, he did all of that for you and I. That's how it reminds me of Jesus. And what color is that? Well, it's white. You know, sea urchins can be all sorts of colors, especially the sand dollars. They can be all sorts of colors while they're alive and in the water. You see, when they're in the water, they can be green, scarlet, violet. They can be purple. Uh-huh, they can be blue. They can be all sorts of colors depending on the species. And then when they die and they get washed up on shore, the S-U-N, the sun, bleaches them and it turns them white. When we die, our sins are covered by the blood of Jesus. And the S-O-N, the Son of God, bleaches us, cleanses us, and makes our sins, though they were as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Jesus washes away all sin. So the sand dollar reminds me of Jesus. But that's not all. You see, not only on there is there the star, and it reminds me of the star of Bethlehem. Not only are the holes there remind me how he was nailed to the cross. Not only because it's white and Jesus was perfect and sinless and was able to die for my sin. Not only all of those things, but also on the inside, there's something that reminds me of Jesus. And for that, I need an assistant. Can you come here, Elijah? All right. This is Elijah. Let's get you a chair. Oh, that was fast. All right, can you hold that for me? All right, can you open it for me? Ready? Whoa, good job. What's inside? Dump it out. Both of them. What is that? It's a dove. Whoa. Let me see. Whoa, those are pretty. It's got three doves in there. You know what that reminds me of? God the Father, God the Son, and what? God the Holy Ghost. That's right. And God the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. High five. You did a good job. Thank you, buddy. He's always a big help. Anyhow, those three doves. Wow. You know, remember when Jesus was baptized? You remember that story? The Bible says that the Spirit descended like a what? Dove. Now, are these doves? No, but they sure look like a dove. Isn't that pretty? Those are really neat. Hey, hope you enjoyed this object lesson on how... A sand dollar reminds me of Jesus Christ. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!